Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add videos to your website using Voomly. For those of you who don't know what Voomly is, it is a video hosting platform with a difference. It just doesn't host videos for you. It's a comprehensive solution that allows you to turn any video into a funnel, grab your customer's email, find out what they are most likely to buy, and sell it to them. It's perfect for digital marketers, content creators, video marketing agencies, and e-commerce and online store builders. Now, with Voomly, you also get access to incredible software like Doodly for whiteboard animations, Toonly for cartoon explainer videos, Peaks for e-cover design, Talkia for realistic sounding text to speech and people builder software, all for free as part of the Voomly Cloud package. We have explained all this in our Voomly review, a link to which is given in the description below. In this video, I am only going to focus on Voomly's video hosting feature. Let's continue. Let me log into my Voomly account. This is the Voomly video hosting interface. By default, you will be in Video Drive, where all your hosted videos are stored. It is here where you upload your videos. Moving on, let's explore the Interactive Video tab. This is where Voomly stands out, allowing you to create interactive video funnels. Now, what exactly is a video funnel? Think of it as a sequence, a journey through a series of videos that you've designated. So, when one video concludes, another begins, creating a fluid and interactive experience for your viewer. But here's the cool part. You can embed buttons directly inside your video. This means your viewers get to choose what they want to watch next. It's interactive, it's engaging, and it provides value by offering content that the viewer is interested in. Next is the Analytics tab, which includes the traffic, heat maps, and information about geo, browsers, and devices. You can see other interesting statistics, such as where the engagement was the most and at what point in the video most of your viewers dropped off. Now to upload a video, go to the Video Drive and click on the Upload Video button. Once the upload is complete, you can start customizing the video player by clicking on these three dots and choosing the Customize Video Player option. This is where we are going to customize the look and feel of the video player and add interactive elements to our video if we want. Alright, let's start with the General Settings section. This is where we begin to tinker with our uploaded video. First up is the Autoplay feature. It's quite self-explanatory. Turn it on and your video plays automatically when someone lands on your page. Turn it off if you want your viewers to hit play themselves. Now, do you want your video to loop? You decide. You also get to choose whether your video should reset to the thumbnail or pause on the last frame once it concludes. Here's a feature I absolutely love. You can redirect your viewers to a specified URL once the video ends. This is great for lead generation or directing traffic to another one of your amazing pieces. Now, let's jump into the thumbnail section. This is where you get to select what your viewers see before they hit play. You can select a frame from your video or upload a custom image to serve as your thumbnail. Remember, a compelling thumbnail can really boost your click-through rate. Here's where it gets even more exciting. You can add interactive elements to your thumbnail. Imagine having a button, a piece of call-to-action text, or an image that viewers can interact with even before they play the video. Each interactive element can be assigned a specific action. For instance, if a viewer clicks on the button on the thumbnail, I can set it to continue playing the video, do nothing, or even open a new URL. Next up, we have the Player Skin section. As you can probably guess from its name, 
This section is all about customizing the look of your video player. Firstly, you have the freedom to choose the color scheme. Whether you want it to align with your brand colors or just something you find visually appealing, the choice is yours. Want to make your video player unmistakably yours? Add your own custom logo. Now, let's talk about the player skin type. This is where you can select the overall appearance of your video player. Each skin type brings a different vibe to your content, so feel free to experiment and find what suits your content best. and it doesn't end there. You can also modify the video control captions. Next is the Controls tab. This is where we can edit the buttons on the player bar. We can enable or disable these buttons. For example, if I don't want to show this time element here on the video player, I just need to deselect it here and the element is gone. We can also completely remove the play bar. There is also an option to adjust the size of the play button. The next section is where you can add your subtitles or generate auto subtitles inside Voomly. Alright, after giving our player a fresh new look, let's dive into the interactive section. This is where the real engagement starts. This section is a bit like the one where we added interactive elements to the thumbnail, but it offers even more. Here, you can insert a variety of elements directly into your video. You can introduce buttons, text, annotations, images, and image annotations directly into the flow of your video, creating a truly immersive and interactive experience for your viewers. And not to forget the social share elements and chapters, which can significantly boost the shareability of your content. Now let's focus on an intriguing feature, the turnstile with this element, you can actually capture your viewers' email addresses right through the video. Impressive, isn't it? To use this feature, you'll need to link your Voomly account to an autoresponder. Currently, Voomly is in sync with MailChimp, GetResponse, and a few others. The email capture form is, needless to say, fully customizable, allowing you to tweak it to align perfectly with your brand and messaging. Next, we have the privacy settings. This is where we can choose to make our video private and also password protected. And finally, there is the video page. Here you can choose your video page theme. We can also enable or disable comments here. You can also add your own custom logo to the header from this section. Once all the customizations are done, save the settings. We have tweaked and tuned our video, now let's talk about how to share it. Voomly offers two straightforward ways to share your masterpiece. Firstly, you can use the video page link. Voomly provides a unique URL for your video page, hosting it effectively on their platform. Now the second method is for those who wish to integrate the video seamlessly into their website. Using an embed code. This might sound technical, but it's as easy as copying and pasting. You simply copy the embed code provided by Voomly and paste it into the desired location on your web page. Voila! Just like that, your video is part of your website. Now here's a cool thing. Every time you modify your video player in Voomly, the embedded video updates automatically. There's no need to go back and replace the embed code every time you make a change. It's all dynamic and hassle-free. And that's how to add a video to your website using Voomly. I hope this was helpful. I have given the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. I will see you in another video.